and it's going to be on the Lancia Zagato. So this model of car used to be a rally car back in the day and um, not sure if this one exactly was raced but the front end of this car has been smashed. There was a lot of rust in the rear end. I'll show a couple little clippets of what's been in the rear. Uh, I've done a lot of repairs in the quarters, the drip rails and that sort of thing is all rusted out. Same thing with the drip rails in the front of this. I've already changed and done a little bit in here. But down in the channel on the guard is rusted away. We've got a lot of damage up in the front end. It's all full of lead. And uh, in the headlight area, pretty much most of this front end is going to have to be changed because it's all damaged, smashed, twisted, and out of shape. We've got a lot uh, going on down here in the bottom too. I'll probably start off with making this panel first and then uh, keep making a couple of other videos and a few other things going on in around the headlight, this uh, front of the front uh, guard. And then, uh, yeah, so we'll have a look, see what's rusted, see what's rusted away and see what's damaged too and straighten things out. And the inner body has already been and had a lot of work done to it. It's got new floor pans, new inner outer sills as well. We'll have a look at the doors and uh, let's start shaping and make it happen. Cool. I'm laying out a pattern for the centre section and uh, I like to use these nice little magnets. They're, uh, they're super strong, probably like a rare earth magnet, some sort of thing. Um, nice and small, lay all those magnets out and you just want to make sure you trim off all your excess first and then mark out uh, pencil out everything, mark all my holes, everything, I'll have the pattern and you can see sort of a couple of these areas where it's bunched up that uh, that's where a bit of shrinking is going to have to happen. One thing you always want too is to add for extra material where there's going to be another fold like there's a fold coming this way here and there's a lip along there. I'm going to add material for the flange and for adding material anyway all the way around the outside you never want to come short but make sure you have extra added material where there is a lot more material like this area where it is going to fold in and back up. Rain. Wanna oh, hear that train? There she comes. Won't you get on? Won't you get on? As you can see, because I've curved it this way, it'll show you how much that it actually needs to go this way as well. If you put that up to there, see it's got to come, this much has got to come in. So I'm going to start wheeling this diagonally all the way through and uh, start putting some shape in it. We'll jump on the wheel and show you how it starts to move. This thing will come up nice.
fair bit of wheeling already. As you can see, the shapes really start to come in uh, going this way. And uh, I've still got a bit more to go. I want to get a bit, little bit more just in this area. And this bottom edge needs to wrap around a bit, but it's fitting a little closer. I'll put it up on the car. But it's important to keep checking your stuff as you go. Put it on, take it off, do a bit more wheeling, put it on. I've done a little bit of shrinking around the edges and through here, so I just want to bring that bottom edge around a bit more because it dives in a bit more at the bottom and then comes up flatter through here, but starting, starting to fit, starting to look good. As you can see, putting this up now onto the panel, starting to fit a lot better at flow and uh, these edges coming around, there's not that big gap that was there as it's curling, curling around. Uh, still needs more, going to get a little bit closer and we can start thinking about turning some edges and uh, putting these middle sections in. I'm just getting a bit more shape here at the bottom, wheeling it up a bit, adding a little bit of force on the bottom just to curl that bottom edge around a bit more and then I'll put it on the car, see where I'm at and then blend everything out and make it all nice. But uh, just got to get a bit more shape in there because it wasn't quite fitting to where I wanted it to. Uh, but it will be pretty close now. And I'm looking forward to it fitting a bit nicer so we can work on some other areas. This is everything wheeled out and I've already gone and done a bead roll on the edges and tipped these edges. Uh, we've got the flange around the headlights through here and then this centre one which is the one I said to add the material and that's an important thing not to forget. So you can do both folds and you've got enough there to, uh, to move. Now I've gone and marked 70mm down for these holes and these holes were damaged so not all three exactly the same. So I've gone and cut a little template that I can mark around, line that up, I'll get a center mark on here, line that to the center, mark it up for all three holes, and then we'll turn that little flange and, uh, and do those by hand. And um, final fit it up to the car and see how it's looking. It's already looking good on the car, um, but now just mark these out, I'll show you that.
knocking these flanges in, you can either hold your dolly behind that, and as you get better, you know where your dolly is, and you just hold it on that line. I've done the first bit, hammering that in, bringing that edge around, and hold the dolly, or either make it a bit easier, something on a post, and you can hold that roughly on the line, and start hammering that flange in. And just work your way around the material and you'll start getting a bit of a look like this and that's probably going to need a bit of stretching so I'll use the hammer and tap those edges and different shape hammers and stretch that material so it doesn't form it out of shape um, we'll just keep cruising and keep shaping that thing would just be just crisping up and sharpening up these lines just so they look really nice and I like to use a bolster chisel just run that on the back on that line hammer it down just it sharpens up the lines quite nice but uh, yeah just make sure your bolster is the shape that you want for your panel as well if you got a curved panel have a little bit of curve in the bolster chisel um, flat things, just run a flat one. Uh, it's always good to have a few different ones with different shapes too. We'll keep hammering this. Still got to put a wide edge on the bottom, so hopefully I'll do a little video on how to do a wide edge, and uh, I think that'd be cool. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned a couple of things, and uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in and watching the videos. I'll have a few more to come. Cheers.